Hey, you guys, I wanted to give you an update on what is going on in Israel and the possibility of this Ezekiel 38-39 war happening. So I woke up hearing this. This is amazing. This is something that happened the other day, and I wanted to tell you about it because this was crazy. So I woke up, and, and I had my phone next to the bed like I normally do, and I woke up to it, audio Bible, and guess what it was reading to me? Ezekiel 38, and it was this. And you will go up, you will come like a storm, and you will be like a cloud covering the land, and all your troops and many peoples with you. So how did that happen? This is like crazy stuff. I wake up and I hear Ezekiel 38, 39 being read to me, the very part where it talks about it all coming together. Was it a coincidence? I don't I don't know. I don't think so. I think God might be showing me something, showing you something here. But here's the latest news for that day. Also, the four hostages were rescued. Isn't that awesome? We love that. And these commandos are total heroes and total warriors laying their own lives down to rescue these hostages. One of them did pass away too. It was sad. So here they are rejoicing in Israel. This is like uh, some of the stuff that happened a few days ago. Here they are very happy and very joyful. It's a joyful, joyful time for Israel that they had this little bit of victory and, uh, and we can rejoice with them as Christians, as believers in Jesus Christ. So the update on Ezekiel, let's check it out. Here's the update, you guys. And I think it's very important that we keep up to date on this because the war can happen over a long period of time. Sometimes people think like that Ezekiel 38, 39 thing should happen in like one day or like one week and it's, and it's not happening. Well, wars take a long time and they, the stages are set. The, the bases are, are established and people are, they're moving, countries are moving troops and, 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 and they're planning out things and they're moving things slowly. And then they happen fast eventually, but they can be over a process of time. And that's what we see here, I believe. So the update on Ezekiel, uh, 38, 39 is this. So let's take a look at it. Today, Russia, there's there's an alliance between Russia, Turkey, and Iran, and these alliances are becoming stronger, and they're becoming farther and farther separated and away from Israel and the United States. They're they're angry. They they actually hate Israel. The president of Turkey, Erdogan, Erdogan, <laughs> Erdogan, excuse me, and Putin. Putin's been threatening them as well. So here it is. Putin is using strong language against Israel at this time very strong language and against America, United States. So that's what we're seeing now. There's some crazy stuff going on. I just want to give you an update on it because, and check out the news for yourself because you could see these things happening to a greater and greater and greater extent. It, it, it may not happen as fast as you think. It could be like over a whole year as this stage is being set for this final war, but the war essentially is happening because they're maneuvering they're putting their their troops in position just like the bible says the bible's always right you guys so hey don't forget to subscribe and also hit this playlist right here how to find jesus in the old testament and i would suggest you watch the episodes on Joseph because God gave us his plan through the story of Joseph. You can see how he had a Gentile bride and then later what happens? He rescues and he saves all of Israel during a seven year time of great trouble. So click on this playlist right here, how to find Jesus in the Old Testament.